What sort of advice would you give to the young Christine Lagarde as a young lawyer starting out but now with all the benefit of your hindsight? Stay as you are. Keep at it. <laughs> Greet your teeth and smile. If you look at young people now, younger than yourself, which is a bit difficult, but okay, in their early 20s, let's say, would you say to them, quit school, go for the idea? don't bother finishing Harvard, or would you say to them, do what you've done, which is actually finish university, get a regular job, and then see what happens? I don't know if I'd draw such a distinction between those choices. What I would say, though, is make sure that you're always challenging yourself and you're always learning. If you can do that in the environment of school, that's great, you should do that. Um, if you're not having that happen at school, then it's okay to set out on your own path and challenge you. It is important, though, if you drop out of school that you challenge yourself. Otherwise, you might not go anywhere. So if you're just sitting around and eating nachos, that's not... That's not going to do it. If I was a young Indonesian woman of 17 years old, what sort of advice would you give me? Would you say to me, yes, go out there and try and start your own business? Or would you say, and, and one day you'll become minister and you can blow up ships? that are illegally fishing? When I'm tired with the question, yes, that's my answer, but I don't think that's uh, appropriate. I think get education as much as you can. Find something that's suitable for you. Change when things doesn't make you happy, because I think uh, happier you are, more energy you will have. More energy you will have, more productive you will are. So you are, so that's, that's, you will be, you will be more productive. More productive you, you are, you will achieve bigger things. And uh, I don't think I will advise anybody to get out from school and just be minister.